Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss solving rational equations. In the previous video, we have defined rational equation as an equation that involves rational expressions. These are the steps in solving rational equations. Number one, eliminate denominators by multiplying each term of the equation by the least common denominator. Number two, note that eliminating denominators may introduce extraneous solutions. Check the solutions of the transformed equations with the original equation. Let us have an example. Solve the rational equation x plus 1 over x plus 2 equals x minus 3 over x minus 5. Notice that in this given, there is only one rational expression on both sides of the equation. If this is the case, we can easily eliminate the denominator by cross multiplication. Therefore, we will have x plus 1 times x minus 5. Copy the equal sign. Then x plus 2 times x minus 3. From here, we simply need to multiply the two binomials x plus 1 times x minus 5 and x plus 2 times x minus 3. So we will have x times x is x squared, x times negative 5 is negative 5x, positive 1 times x is positive x, and positive 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. Again, copy the equal sign. Do the same thing here. So you're going to have x times x is x squared, x times negative 3 is negative 3x, positive 2 times x is positive 2x, and positive 2 times negative 3 is equal to negative 6. Note here that we can combine similar terms. So therefore, we will have x squared minus 4x minus 5 equals x squared minus x minus 6. The next thing that we need to do is to isolate all the terms to the left side of the equation and equate this by 0. So therefore, we will have x squared minus 4x minus 5 minus x squared plus x plus 6 equals 0. Next, combine similar terms. So x squared minus x squared is equal to 0. Negative 4x plus x equals negative 3x. Negative 5 plus 6 equals positive 1, then equals 0. To solve for the value of x, let us eliminate the constant number positive 1 to the right side of the equation. Thus, we will have negative 3x equals negative 1. Then, divide both sides by negative 3. So, negative 3 divided by negative 3 equals 1. Hence, x equals negative 1 over negative 3, which will become positive 1 third. Let us have another example. Solve the rational equation 3 over x plus 2 minus 1 over x equals 1 over 5x. In this given, notice that there are two rational expressions on the left side of the equation. Hence, we cannot use cross multiplication. To solve this, we need to multiply the whole equation by the least common denominator. 
To find the least common denominator, look at the factors of our denominators. The factors are x plus 2, x, and 5, and x. Notice that we have 2x here as our factor. So for the LCD, we will only be taking 1x. For that case, our LCD for this is x plus 2 times 5 times x. After determining the LCD, we can now multiply our equation by the LCD to eliminate the denominators. Therefore, we will have 3 over x plus 2 minus 1 over x equals 1 over 5x times our LCD, which is x plus 2 times 5 times x. In multiplying the LCD to the equation, we will be multiplying it by each rational expression. For example, 3 over x plus 2 times x plus 2 times 5 times x. Notice that the denominator is x plus 2 and it is one of our LCD here. Therefore, we will be canceling x plus 2, leaving us with 3 times 5 times x. Copy the minus sign. Next, multiply again the LCD to the second rational expression. But since your denominator here is x, so therefore x here will be cancelled. So therefore, we will have 1 times x plus 2 times 5. Then copy the equal sign. Finally, do the same thing to the third rational expression. Note that the denominator here is 5x. Therefore, 5 and x here will be cancelled, leaving us with 1 times x plus 2. Next, we need to simplify this term. So 3 times 5 times x will give us 15x. Copy the minus sign. Then we will have 1 times 5 is equal to 5. Then times x plus 2 equals 1 times x is x. And 1 times 2 is positive 2. Next, distribute negative 5 to our binomial x plus 2. Therefore, we will have 15x minus 5x minus 10 equals x plus 2. Next, isolate all terms to the left side of the equation. Thus, we will have 15x minus 5x minus 10 minus x minus 2 equals 0. Let us combine similar terms. 15x minus 5x equals 10x minus x equals 9x. Negative 10 minus 2 equals negative 12. Then equals 0. Once again, to solve for the value of x, isolate the constant number to the right side of the equation, giving us 9x equals 12. Divide both sides by 9. Hence, we will have x equals 12 over 9. But we need to lowest term 12 over 9. 12 and 9 are both divisible by 3. Finally, we will have the answer as 4 over 3. For our last example, solve the rational equation x over x plus 2 plus 2 
over x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 5 over x plus 3. To determine the LCD, let us factor the denominator of the second rational expression. So we will have x plus 2 times x plus 3. Therefore, the factors of our denominators are x plus 2, x plus 2 times x plus 3, and x plus 3. Notice that x plus 2 and x plus 3 are both duplicated. Once again, if that is the case, we will just be considering one factor. So therefore, the LCD is x plus 2 times x plus 3. Next thing to do, we will multiply the whole equation by our LCD x plus 2 times x plus 3. So therefore, we will have x over x plus 2 plus 2 over x plus 2 times x plus 3 equals 5 over x plus 3 times our LCD x plus 2 times x plus 3. Next, multiply the LCD by each rational expression here. So for the first one, since the denominator is x plus 2, then x plus 2 here will be cancelled, leaving us with x plus 3 times x. Copy the plus. For the second one, we have the denominator x plus 2 times x plus 3. And this is also our LCD. So everything will be cancelled, leaving us with only 2. Then copy the equal sign. For the last one, our denominator is x plus 3. So x plus 3 at the LCD will also be cancelled, leaving us with 5 times x plus 2. Next, let us simplify this by multiplying x to the binomial. So we will have x squared plus 3x, then copy plus 2, equals do the same thing for 5. So you will have 5x plus 10. Next step, isolate all the terms to the left side of the equation, giving us with x squared plus 3x plus 2 minus 5x minus 10 equals 0. When we simplify this by combining the similar terms, it will give us x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0. Notice that this is a quadratic equation. For that case, to solve for the x of the quadratic equation, we need to factor this. The factors of this quadratic equation are x minus 4 times x plus 2. Next, we need to equate both factors by 0. So therefore, x minus 4 equals 0 and x plus 2 equals 0. To solve for the value of x, Isolate the constant to the right side, giving us with x equals 4 and x equals negative 2. Since you have arrived with two solutions, you need to check each solution if they will satisfy the equation. However, looking at the solution x equals negative 2, when we substitute negative 2 here, Negative 2 plus 2 will give us a denominator of 0. Remember that denominator cannot be equal to 0 because it will become undefined. 
For that case, it means that negative 2 is an extraneous root. And therefore, the final answer is x equals 4. I hope that you understood the lesson. And for the next video, we will discuss about solving rational inequalities. Thank you and see you on the next discussion.